In this tutorial, I'm going to explain how you can create a fade effect in Adobe Flash CS6. And for this example, I'll show how I have a scene here with some grass in the foreground, sky and sun. And as the sun starts to go down, the background, the sky, begins to become dark. It becomes darker. So it begins to fade around about this point on the timeline. So the sun is moving down and it gets darker gradually. So if I click on play, you can see as it comes down, the background is tinted. So I'll have a look over here, my template that I made earlier. And all I've got is on the sun layer, I have a motion tween. So the sun is just moving across the stage. On the second layer down, the grass layer, I have some grass in the foreground and I just created that by using the pencil tool to draw out the blades of grass and then filling in those shapes with a color gradient. And if you're not sure how to use gradients in Flash, then I suggest going back and watching the tutorial on using gradients in Flash. And then lastly, I have a sky layer with uh, another gradient. So just using the rectangle tool to fill the stage um, and then using a gradient with blue and white to have a, um, a, a nice sky effect with a lighter color on the, for, on the um, horizon. Okay, so what I need to do now is I need to go across the timeline and figure out where I want the uh, sky to start, become, start going darker, start fading. So probably around this point on the timeline, around somewhere between the 40th to 50th frame, or maybe around, probably around the 50th frame. Somewhere here, that'll do. Okay, so if I go onto the sky layer, I can right click on there and insert a keyframe. And basically from this keyframe here to the keyframe on the end, that is going to be a motion tween effect which applies a uh, tint fade on the background. So I can go and click on the background and I need to right click or control click on a Mac and convert this to a symbol so I can then create a motion tween. So convert to symbol, just give it a name like sky fade. Okay. And then I need to right click on that again and create a motion tween. Okay. So now this part of the timeline is blue. So there's a motion tween between the 45th frame and 74, 75th frame. Okay. If I go to the very last frame on this motion tween effect, I can then click on the sky. And on the properties section over here, underneath color effect, I can choose the drop down box next to style and I can change that to tint. I can then pick a color that I want it to um, start tinting as. So currently it's red, uh, but I can change that to black and I can increase the tint up to maybe about 70%, 75%. Okay. If I go back now, you can see at the start of the motion tween, the sky is normal, nothing's changed, it's still the same color, but it's gradually faded out to almost black. Okay. Just need to make sure that this last frame here, it's actually going back to light blue. So you need to either delete that frame or, uh, insert a keyframe there to copy the dark sky over. So what I might actually just do is uh, remove that frame and then insert a new keyframe there. Okay, so click on play. Sun's coming up. And as it goes down, it gets dark. And once the sun is completely gone, it's almost a black sky. Okay. There's a number of other fade or color effects that you can choose in there. So instead of tint, you can choose brightness, uh, advanced to alpha. There's a few 
different things that you can fiddle with there. So you can increase the brightness. Um, so if you were wanting to go from dark to light, you could do that with the brightness tool. Um, or you can go back to tint and you can fiddle around with the color there. And maybe you might want to have like a uh, kind of a sunset effect. So it starts off blue and then it sort of becomes a bit of a reddish sky. And then you could have it fading to black. Okay, so you can fiddle around with those color effects in there. And you can also fiddle around with the red, green, and blue color adjustments there. Okay, so that's how you create a tint fade effect in Adobe Flash CS6. Thanks for watching.